Yo, so we are in Austin. Man, that look crazy. This is bad lighting. Yo, so we're in Austin. We just got here. And today we're going to be checking out Robert Rodriguez's set for the TV show on his network. Uh, his network is called El Rey, and the show is called From Dust Till Dawn. So the movie he made, From Dust Till Dawn, they made a TV series out of it. Uh, so yeah, that's where we're going to go right now. And we are in Austin. Cool. Do work. Do your motherfucking work and outwork everybody. Yo sé bien que estoy afuera, pero el día que yo me muera, sé que tendrás que llorar. Man, I just ran into some Cholos dancing cumbia, man. Cholos dancing cumbia. Cholos dancing cumbia. Cholos dancing cumbia. Cholos dancing cumbia. We had a quinceañera. We had a quinceañera. What's up, man? Say what's up. What's up? What's up? It's your boy Igor Cholo, aka Super Ego. Coming to you live. My boy Chico Green. And if anybody has beef with Cholos dancing cumbia, we can meet up at a quinceañera. Because I'm, I'm the long lost Cholo. We'll be there. Ah. Tropical Storm Bill. Is upon us. I got the keys. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Oh man, you supposed to uh, live it up. You supposed to actually. Oh, yeah. oh help us, Lord Jesus. We're in there right now. You're watching the clip. Pretty cool. Predator 2. The little thing in the hallway. Robert Rodriguez, Quentin Tarantino. My kids. Pretty cool. Like I said, they they have a network. It's called El Rey, and uh, they brought in Jingle Bling. You know, create some content. What's up, man? We're over here at uh, Dustin Don set. We're back here, Eric Cochola, Lauren, which is Lauren. Uh, they're about to meet Robert Rodriguez. So bad experience working with some of the best in the industry. Hopefully, some good shit comes out of it. Show them your hat. Let's see your hat. Got that Dustin that combo here representing. Bang bang. Bang bang. Check it out. <laughs> Oye, compa, no sé dónde puedo conseguir unos aves como esos, como los tuyos, compa. Oye, compa, esos pinches botines están con madre, compa. Pinches botines con madre, güey. Tú sí tienes, tú sí tienes hostiles. I got these boots bought for me while I was working on a shrimp boat, uh, and it was a commercial for Charmin toilet paper, so it was a two-day shoot about pooping on a boat. Oh, it was real good. It's a real good. It's real shrimp boots. Shrimp boots. Shrimp boots. I've heard of ostrich boots. We're here at Troublemaker Studios. Sass. <laughs> Gains, bro. Yeah. I'm my level, bro. Bro, it looks like from here it looks like bird feet. You can probably get that bird suit back. Somebody actually wrote this. We're like, I don't know if this is shot appropriate.
Right now we're trying to find a diamond that he just dropped right now. My microphone has had Pro Tools on. Pull it all down the leg? Yeah, I'm going to attach it. Once it gets down to your shirt, I'll attach it. So it's a little easier to get down your pants. Yeah. You may fire up when ready. Fire in the hole! <laughs> it fell. My little ferret. It fell real quick right there in that area. It just fell in. It just fell right in. <laughs> it dropped all the way to the ankle. Don't drop it in. Have you met him? Circulation coming up. Circulation coming up. El Rey presents the battle of epic proportions, the battle of the skinny jeans. Who can go tighter? Hey man, I got, I got tight pants, bro. Eric. What you want, left? What you want, right? Mm. So if you were in a room Eric full of cockroaches, how would you make it out of there? I'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that guy. <laughs> for brothers. Uh, I'm a 16 year old stand up yeah. comedian. You might have known me from a selfie we took on Ego's page. 16 year old. <laughs> you might have seen him on Ego's selfie. And Nickelodeon. Get, uh, put your hands together for 16 year old. What? What'd you the say? Nickelodeon. Yeah. Why are you filming with the wallet? That's <laughs> this shit. <laughs> He's just like flapping. <laughs> Credit card. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting banned and then filmed at the same time. Appreciate it, bro. Uh. And I can buy you a snapple. All the same. Uh, and you are Chingo. Chingo. Chingo Blaine. Pants, Chingo. The one and only. What have you? What have you? She said those are some pants. You have to set that up. She did it on purpose. I got a pants. Me and my mama got the same pants. Yeah, mom jeans. DJ mom jeans. DJ DJ. You got two for one. Two for one. Half price. Are we good? Yep. So are you guys? Are you guys gonna have a boom as well as the wood box? Humongous green screen. Another green screen. Crew. See, this is movie magic. You have these green cushions so that when you fall, they can take it out with the green screen and it looks like you busted your ass on the hard floor. Movie magic. Sauce. We're here in a pretend strip club. What I would like in my life is to have a pretend strip club in my living room as well. A uh, party palace. Um, you know, it looked like a strip club. It seemed like a strip club. It's basically a strip club with a mailbox in the front. That's how I want my house to be. Little VIPs and stuff everywhere. What is this stuff? Well, let me just start by saying I came in as a compositor, yeah. you know, so, you know, green screen and, you know, layering everything up in a comp and stuff like that. But, you know, <clears throat> when Robert's, when we're not doing posts, we're either doing pre stuff. So kind of develop some 3D skills and things like this. And this is the most, one of the more recent uh, applications of that. So we went and searched through all of Frank Miller's artwork and picked out selects and took those selects and broke them out in Photoshop <clears throat> like that first this first one with uh, Nancy Jessica Alba's character. Here's the Photoshop file, and you can see it's pretty, pretty ridiculous. Like I've got this is this layer here. Well, this group is just the fringe, but each piece of fringe is actually uh, broken out separately, and that's uh, for both legs and the fingers and the arms and the hands. Because when the 3D camera is going around it, you need to see. Yeah, you need to see what's that, that what's pop. not there. You know, so if you go at this angle, you know Frank Miller didn't draw in, in 3D space, so I had to build all that stuff back and that was kind of done this is sick, yeah. and once I broke that out it's a projected in a 3d program with simple modeling that's what's great about this technique the projection map technique is that it's you don't have to be so detailed with the modeling because you're just throwing textures but that's basically kind of what it's looking like in 3d Dude, that's so dope took a drawing and made it 3d yeah exactly oh wow and then you know did that for however many vignettes 
We're in this in this thing. Oh, whoa. Damn, damn, that is so sick. How long did that whole thing take? Like that, all of that? Probably a couple months, something like that. Wow. Yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty involved, <laughs> but it went it went pretty. Check this out. Sass. Ah, all those heads. Off with the heads. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Mad blood. And so, uh, just other things I've worked on here at Troublemaker. Uh, I always like to show this the Predators one. You know, oh, the, yeah. the actors need something to <laughs> act to, so that we couldn't put the visual effects soup on this. Didn't put like a little stick. It's this big, huge stick. Now imagine if, imagine if the the space flower is going to be clear. We'd have to get rid of everything, you know. Uh -huh. or, or if the stem's thinner than the blue stick, you know, the plate kind of slips right there. But it doesn't matter when it's all said and done. Oh yeah, and his jacket. That was another thing. But that's all phony. It's all just cut and cut and paste pieces. When it's all said and done, you never know. And things like this too, where a three D artist did all this, all the the spikes and all that good stuff. But it needed a little tweaking, a little integration. And I'll do that too, where if I'm given plates that another artist has worked on, I'll kind of just put my eye on it and make it look a little, put some more blood. Oh, dude. Wait, that was shot in front of what? Green screen. Yeah, that screen. was in front of a green yeah. screen. Yeah, that was out in the, the back lot there. Yeah. No, no, that was out outside. That that was kind of cumbersome too, because yeah. you see you see the guy's hand pushing the, in the back. Uh -huh. The wind is blowing, oh, yeah, 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 so yeah. you know. Hard to make sure it doesn't. Yeah, there's tracking markers and stuff like that, but it becomes a, irrelevant when the wind is doing this to your tracking yeah. marker. So what you think is could be a simple shot sometimes can be a little more cumbersome, but that would work out pretty well. So Looks like they're really out. Yes, oh, cool. yes, 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 yes. Yeah, this this is kind of how I started here. I freelanced. I was working in a place in San Antonio doing post production. This is the the first thing I worked on. Just basically doing a lot of pulling mats for Shark Boy and the Little Girl. I loved this movie. Yeah, still do. And then came up full time for for Grindhouse, and this is kind of the thing. You know, they shot a plate of her. They shot a plate of this guy, and you can see like the roof up there because they're. They're jerking them through the door. They had to remove the roof. Oh. And then here's thing without the explosion. So it's a, we put it all together in here. Damn. And things like this, where they had that rig to spin them. And this moon on uh, the this flame. Yeah, put a fake background in. Start adding the, the leg gun and everything. Sure. Just like this one. Oh, so too. that's what she wears when she films. Yeah. In real life, yeah. It's crazy. She probably didn't have to. Go to that extreme. So you basically have to go frame by frame by frame mm -hmm. to delete the leg, basically. Uh, you know, you can do some cheats. Some tracking type stuff? Yeah, if we had a motion tracking camera, you know, where the computer's telling it to replay the move, it'd be a lot easier because you'd have her do her move and the camera would, you know, robotically do the same camera move. Then you get rid of her and it's a clean plate. Then it'd become really easy to, to marry the two since the camera's doing the exact same thing between when she's there and when she's there. It's like tracking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. But it's like Photoshop with tracking. Exactly. With Tired as hell, just made it back. It was cool visiting El Rey and make sure to put some sass on it.